Hey guys, welcome to the next TensorFlow tutorial. In this episode, I want to show you how we can save and load our model. This is very simple with the TensorFlow API. So let's have a look at how we do that. And here I have the same code as in tutorial number three, where we implement a simple feed forward neural net and use it for the MNIST data set. So after we uh, define our model, we compile it and fit it. So we start the training and then we evaluate it. And after that, we want to save our model. And here we have three different options and I want to show you all three. So we can save and load the whole model. We can save only the weights or we can save only the architecture. So let's start with the whole model and this is super simple. So we can just say model.save and then specify a file name. And here we have two different possible formats that we can use. So we can use the TensorFlow saved model format or we can use the HDF5 format. And this depends on the ending that we use. So for example, if we just use NN, so for neural network, a file name without an ending, then it's using this um, format. And if we specify the ending H5, then it's using this format. So both work fine. In the TensorFlow docs, they recommend to use uh, this format, but I think uh, this one works as well. So you can use both. So let's use both formats here to demonstrate you the difference. So let's use another one neural. Um, let's call this neural net without an ending. And now if we run this, then it starts the training. And after the training, it um, should save the model with in both formats. So let's say Python and then the name of this file. So this is tutorial number six. All right, so training is done and it saved our model. So we see the H5 file. And for the other one where we simply used neural nets and then it's using the saved model format. And for this, it creates a whole folder with the files in it. So both work fine. And then in order to load it, let's use a, a new model and we can um, load this by saying new model equals keras dot models dot load model and then the same file name. So let's use nn dot h5. And now we have it and can do the same thing. So now if I say new model dot evaluate, then this should um, produce the exact same results. So um, now we could delete all of this. So I leave this here so that it prints the first evaluation and the second one so that we can see that this is the same. And here I want to mention that um, so last time for metrics, we just used the name accuracy. And in the current TensorFlow version 2.3, there is a bug. So if you use uh, the string, then after loading with this specific um, loss, um, it will not produce the same results. So you should use this Keras metrics object here. And then it works fine, but this will be fixed in the version 2.4. So let's run it. And then we should see the exact same um, evaluation results for our original model and our loaded model. All right, so here we have it. So here we have the evaluation of the original model. And then after loading, we have this one. So this is exactly the same. And don't worry about this warning. So this appears if we use the saved model format. But I think this is also a bug and should be fixed in the next version. So yeah, I think we now we see how we can save and load our model. So it's that simple. We only use model.save and then can call Keras models load model again. And then we have the exact same model. So this is how we um, save the whole model. 
And now if we want to save only the weights, we can do it very simple as well. So we can say model dot save weights and then the let's call this um, nn dot weights dot h5. And again, here we have um, both options. So with an file name ending or without. And then again, if we want to load the weights, um, then um, we would have to set up our model like here. And then without training, we can simply say model dot load weights and then this file name. So nn dot weights dot h5. So here again, here we would have to init initialize our model. And now as a last option, if we only want to um, save the architecture, we can um, get the architecture as a JSON string by saying our JSON string equals and then we use model to JSON. And this um, saves the architecture of our model as JSON string. And then for example, we can save this so we can say with open and then our file name so nn model and we want to open it in write mode and then sf and then we say f dot write our json string and then the same thing when we load it so for loading we do the same thing we say with open and then the same name nn dot model and then here in read mode as F and then we can say our loaded JSON string equals and here we say F dot read. So we don't need to import the JSON module here. This is already implemented in the TensorFlow API. And then when we have our loaded JSON string, we can set up our model by saying new model equals keras dot models dot model and then underscore from JSON and then here the loaded JSON string. And now here, then this will only load the architecture. So if we say print new model dot summary, then it would look look the same. But here it does not have the weights yet. So then we would still have to train it. But yeah, now you have all the three different um, options. Um, and I think the first one is the simplest one, but it's also the most expensive one. So sometimes you just want to save the weights or only the architecture. And yeah, so now you know how simple is it is with the TensorFlow API. And then you can start saving and loading your model. And yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.